92, what's up? Your boy Brooksy here again. It's been a while since I did a video. I recently got two pickups. What should I say? I recently took delivery of two sneakers that I had purchased a while back. One of them is the Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle in the Vachetta Tan colorway. And the other one is the Air Jordan 4 Pinnacle in the light bone colorway. So I'm just going to do a quick video here, just a quick review video, just to show you guys the sneakers, right? We start off with the Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle in the Bochetta Tan colorway. These shoes were purchased for me by a buddy of mine in England. So that's why you would not see the, um, you would not see the price tag here in this area. I can't remember exactly what the retail price was, but I believe you got it for below retail as well. For some reason, people didn't go crazy over the Vachetta Tan colour, where at least it wasn't as hyped as, say, for instance, the black and the white. Anyway, opening the box, you'll see there's a stamp on the inside cover of the box, like a serial number stamp. And you could observe certain markings on the inside of the box, maybe the dimensions and various other codes. You notice that here. Alright, there's a white paper that it comes with. We'll make a big deal out of that. The dust bag comes in a little ziplock package. And the dust bag has a very nice feel to it. As you can see, on one side of the dust bag is 1985 in a gold print. On the other side is the Air Jordan Wings logo that was used on the Air Jordan 1. The back has an extremely nice premium feel to it. It feels like it might be a suede or I think it's a suede. It has it feels extremely good. It feels really high quality. As we go on now. Next we have the retro card. It's embossed on one side and debossed on the opposite side. Well, you know what the retro card has? You know what it says? Um, in celebration of Jordan Brand's 30th anniversary, we have created for your enjoyment the Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle. We've seen these before, so we'll go, we'll forget about that. Next up is the sneak itself. I mean, this is my it was my first time seeing the um, Air Jordan 1 Vachetta Tan when I saw it on the internet and it was looking lovely and to be honest it is a very beautiful looking shoe it feels light, it, um, the, the weight feels similar to it feels similar in weight to the regular Air Jordan 1 I'm not sure exactly how many ounces that would be but the weight doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as heavy as does the black Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle because that one has overlays of, of a heavier material this one here is just the, the natural, I guess, undyed Vachetta Tan level. So we have the swoosh is a Vachetta Tan color. Everything is one color. You have these panels on the heel, the heel cup, as well as the toe area here, the overlay, which they, I believe they call a rand. There are the Nike ear is in is a Nike ear leather patch that is stitched onto the tongue and it is well just one single layer as you could see here has Nike branding on it the sole is a white it's not even off white it's dead on white a, a white outsole and midsole with white stitching the laces here are waxed laces wax cotton laces flat that are basically in a, in a, um, a monochrome Vachetta Tan colorway. I mean, the colorway is almost identical, basically identical to the upper. Last but not least are the heel tabs. One says 1985 on the right pair. On the left pair, on the left side, it says MJ23. Now this is the first time really taking out the shoe. Also there's an aglet on the front that is also done in a kind of, I would say, I don't know what color this is, I don't know, is it um, is it bronze? I believe it's a kind of bronze colorway. 
So the aglet is bronze with a slightly different hue of bronze being the Jumpman logo on the aglet. Again, the laces are waxed and when the shoe is, is dead stock, it comes with the lace tips rolled up in this manner. And they are secured with some kind of a, like a rubber band or a clear rubber band or something of that nature. On the inside of the sneaker, it is a quilted foot liner and there's a leather sock liner all the way throughout the sneaker. Similar to all the other, all the other pinnacle Air Jordan 1 sneakers, uh, a leather liner and a quilted footbed. The footbed itself has no kind of Nike or branding or no branding of any sort. And I believe it's feeling like it's, let me see if it's glued on the inside. I don't think it's glued on the inside, but I feel as if I might do some damage to it if I try to pull it out right now. But it is a quilted footbed and I'm not exactly sure how it's going to fit. I mean, from what I've noticed with the black Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle, I went with my usual Air Jordan 1 size, which is US 10 and a half, and it fits a bit big. Maybe because there was not any big set of padding and thing on the inside, and there was just the leather liner, as opposed to the usual padding that would be on the inside of an Air Jordan 1 sneaker. So it's possible that this 10 and a half that I got here might also be a little bit big, but I mean, it's not that, it's not big, extremely big. And it will still give a comfortable fit and I don't think um, there should be any kind of excessive creasing or anything. Now with this Vachette Tan colorway, it is undyed, untreated leather. So as time goes by, the leather is going to change color and it's going to be affected by the elements and stuff like that. So you know, stuff like rain and dirt and other things could affect its color as well as just general wear and tear. As you wear it, it would crease and if, you, and if it flexes in certain areas, that flexing is likely to cause discolorations and it was going to cause the change and condition of the untanned untreated level to change over the course of time but that's to be expected with this of course this is the left side identical in every way to the right side except for the fact that it has the um, the left side comes with the extra lacings which are squared off raw leather laces and the fact that the back tab has MJ23 as opposed to the right side which has 1985. So that's basically a rundown of the um, yeah, Jordan 1 Pinnacle in the Vachetta Tan colorway. And um, that's it. I'm going to try it on another occasion and I'll show you some pictures of you know what it's like on the feet. So thanks a lot for watching and um, I hope you enjoy. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys another time soon. Peace. Later.